Hello, friends, and welcome to Online Learning at Kip Washington Heights Middle, where we will be meeting and greeting and reading and learning every day from now until we get back into our school building and we get a handle on this corona nonsense. So this is just your welcome video. You should be getting some email information. Your parents should be getting some emails from Mr. Swirsky about schedules and timing. But for the most part, um, you will have access to Ms. Loris and myself daily from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. We are going to be posting your performance training materials um, on a daily basis so that you can continue to prepare for the state exam, which will probably be held sometime in May once we get through this crisis. But we want you to continue working as you would normally work. We're going to post your multiple choice and your short response questions as Google quizzes, which we will expect you to take. You will get grades for participation and for work completed in PowerSchool over these next several weeks. And we will be having possibly some audio chats, um, some Google Classroom chats, and some other ways for us to sort of connect um, by video, by voicemail, by phone over these next several weeks as we work and learn together. So one of your first assignments today was to go, log into Google Classroom, find the worksheet and add your contact information onto that worksheet. And we're doing that, kids and parents, so that teachers have all student information readily at hand. So in case we need to text someone or respond to something that we see on Google Classroom, we can immediately shoot you a text or give you a call without having to go through a lot of rigmarole trying to find and figure out phone numbers. We will also be contacting you through your Remind app, so pay attention to the Remind app. I know parents, many of you are also on the Remind app and you get these reminders and this information from um, the ELA class. So for tomorrow, we will be doing two passages. Some of you have probably already read those passages and taken the quizzes. That is fine. We want you to keep up daily, folks, so that you don't get to three, four, five days down the road and you're behind and you haven't done something because those zeros will go into the grade book. And as always, parents, if you have any questions, you have all of our contact information. Please don't be shy about reaching out. If you are in Miss Max small group, I will be posting information specifically for my small group members on Google Classroom. You will see those postings no later than Thursday night. So look for those. I have also posted all of the passages, parents and students for this week on Google Classroom. Unfortunately, I can't figure out how to make them editable. So my suggestion is to either do your annotations in your notebook on a sticky note print out the passages, the daily passages that we're going to be working on if you have printing capabilities. And I am working to produce a document or to um, create a document so that you have access to that and can annotate online for those of you who don't, do not have week three passages. I think the day we gave them out, some folks were absent. On Friday, it was just a whirlwind of activity and we didn't get them out to everyone. So those passages are now posted. The two passages specifically that we're reading tomorrow are posted under Wednesday, March 18th in Google Classroom. Um, feel free to do, those pass to do those passages, to complete those quizzes and make sure you turn them in or submit. And as always, you can post your questions. You can send questions through the Remind app or you can text myself or Mr. Loris directly. I'm excited to get started with you. Again, if you feel like you need to call parents, especially parents um, of kids with IEPs, if you have specific questions about services, please feel free to reach out to me. Because we're in sort of a difficult situation now, I am now taking phone calls up to 11 p.m. each evening for parents that need to reach out to me who work late or who get in late. Please don't be shy about calling me any evening up to Monday through Friday up to 11 p.m. So I think if we work together, we can have a very productive next couple of weeks. Students, we're counting on you to log in every day, to check your Remind app, to check Google Classroom, to make sure you turn on your notifications for videos that I might be posting um, on YouTube 
And again, just reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns. So I'll see you in cyberspace tomorrow. Have a great evening.